Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magsasagot lang tayo ng isang problem na random at problem under ng number theory. So dun sa last na practice exercise natin mga lodi, yung sagot dun is 112. So kung nakatama kayo dun, good job mga lodi. Okay, ito yung problem natin. Let x be the integer such that 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus dot dot dot. So ibig sabihin yan, kasama yung 1 fourth, 1 fifth hanggang 1 over 23 is equal to x over 23 factorial find the remainder when x is divided by 13 so anong una natin gagawin? sige, copy muna natin yung given mga lods 1 half plus 1 third plus dot 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 plus 1 over 23 equals x over 23 factorial okay? so in the first place, try natin muna i-multiply lahat both sides by 23 factorial so what will happen? so we have 23 factorial plus 23 factorial over 2 plus 23 factorial over 3 plus dot 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 plus 23 factorial over 23 is equal to x. Ano sinasabi? Find the remainder when x is divided by 13. Obviously, ang 23 factorial divisible yan by 13 kasi dadaanan nyo yung 13. That is 23 times 22 times 21 hanggang dumaan ka dun sa 13. Next, eto divisible din mga lodi. Kasi dinivide mo lang naman by 2 eh. So dito, sa lahat ng mga numbers natin, dun sa left side, isa lang yung hindi magiging divisible by 13. That is yung 23 factorial all over 13. Kasi makakancel out yung 13 which is common factor ng numerator tsaka ng denominator. So ang mangyari, ito yung magiging hindi divisible by 13. So lahat ng terms natin on the left side are divisible by 13 except for this one. Okay? So, kapag ito, dinivide natin mga Lodi, so ang magiging kalalabasan yan, di ba ang 23 factorial, that is the product of 23, 22, 21 hanggang 1. So, pwede natin itong i-express as 1 times 2 times 3 times dot 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 times 12 times 14. Kasi na-cancel yung 13. Times 15 times 16 times 17 hanggang 23 eto mga Lodi, yung 1 to 12, yung product niyan, can be expressed as 12 factorial. Do you agree mga Lodi? Okay. Since etong buong expression na to is i-divide natin sa 13, ano mangyayari? etong 14, pag dinivide natin sa 13, magiging 1 na lang yan. Kasi diba pinapalitan natin siya ng remainder niya. Kung naalala niyo yung basic ng modular arithmetic, nung mga modulo natin, yun yung mangyayari. Ito, pag dinivide natin ito sa 13, ano remainder? Di ba 2? Ito 3. Ito 4 hanggang sa dumating tayo dito sa 10. Baka nalito, 14 over 13, that is 1 remainder 1. Yung remainder yung pinalit natin. 23 over 13, that is 1 remainder 10. Kaya 10 yung pinalit natin. Obviously, ano man na-notice nyo dito mga Lodi? Product ng 1 to 10, that is 10 factorial. So, i-divide natin sa 13 yan. Okay? Tapos, etong expression na ito mga load, i-divide natin sa isang prime number. Kung naalala nyo yung video natin, actually medyo matagal na yun, 2 years ago, applying Wilson's Theorem. So, pwede nyo i-search yun mga load, Wilson's Theorem. If P minus 1 factorial is divided by P, ang sagot dyan ay yung P minus 1. Ganyan yun mga Lodi. Yung P natin, prime number yun. So, 13 minus 1, that is 12. So, 12 factorial mod 13, ang sagot dyan ay 12. Okay? Tapos, kapag ano naman mga Lodi, uh, P minus 3. Ito mga Lodi. So, this is kapag yung P minus 3, dinivide natin kay P. So, anong remainder nito, Sir IJ? Ang remainder niyan, kung naalala nyo yung shortcut natin doon, that is P minus 1 over 2. Kung, na, kung pwede nyo, actually pwede nyo naman siyang i-derive mga loads. Pwede nyo siyang i-derive na uh, using na yung 10 factorial is, can be expressed as 10 times 9 times 8, tas gamitan nyo na lang ng mga basic na mod, mod. Pero much better kung alam nyo na rin. Okay? So, eto mga lodi, derive na siya. So, ano yung P natin? So, that is 13 minus 1 over 2 so that is 
Okay? So, ito, kapag dinibide natin sa 13, ang remainder ay 12. Kapag ito, dinibide natin sa 13, ang remainder ay 6. Therefore, ano mangyayari? That will be 12 times 6 equals 72 mod 13. Ano remainder kapag yung 72 dinibide natin sa 13? Di ba ang 72 divided by 13, that is 5, remainder 7. Therefore, the correct answer for this problem is 7. Okay? So, ito mga lodi, tandaan nyo lang. O kaya, additional na rin, yung P minus 2 factorial modulo P, that is equal to 1. Kunyari, P is 13. 13 minus 2, that is 11. Ibig sabihin nun, 11 factorial mod 13, that is 1. It means that if 11 factorial is divided by 13, the remainder is 1. So, I suggest mga lodi, try nyong bisitahin yung Wilson's Theorem natin na video. Tapos, ito yung practice exercise. Halos similar lang naman din. If 1 over 2 factorial, 15 factorial, plus 1 over 3 factorial, 14 factorial, plus 1 over 4 factorial, 13 factorial, plus 1 over 5 factorial, 12 factorial, is equal to x over 1 factorial, 16 factorial, find the remainder when x is divided by 17. So, try it on your own and comment your answers on the comment section sa video natin. Thank you so much mga lodi sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And if ever may questions kayo or clarifications, you can just comment on the comment section. So, see you in my next math tutorial video and I hope you all the best. Bye-bye!